Hey everyone, it's Bruns here, welcome back to the channel. In just about a couple of hours ago, the devs have finally manifested about what's the future of Evil Dead the game. So everybody has been thinking this game has been shelved because the, the devs are really really bad at communicating. However, today finally they're saying they will address a lot of our concerns. So I'll link the Reddit post down below and they are being a little bit aloof at what is really happening and how they are going to do a few things. However, all this gives us a glimpse of hope about the future of the game that so many of us have fell in love with and so many of us feel is letting us down at the moment because of all the problems, exploits and cheats that we're encountering on a daily basis. So first they are going to do something about the demons because they do feel nerfed on the next patch. They're not getting into it too much but they are working on it to make it feel better so let's see what's going to happen to that. One of the biggest things that they're going to do which I'm so so glad that they're doing and I'm sure many of you are as well is that there are just too many vehicles within the maps and and they are going to address that. So they're saying here that they agree with us and they plan to reduce the number of vehicles on the map. Also, another huge thing is that players, they use vehicles to block the Necronomicon. The cars will take constant damage until they are destroyed. Another very, very welcome change because there's nothing more annoying than meeting a group they are using exploits and then at the end, they also use the vehicles to block the Necronomicon. It's just very frustrating. The next thing they're doing, they're gonna change the objective spawns because a lot of the time when you get into a match, the demon opens the map and you can see the objectives right next to each other literally 100 to 200 meters away from each other which means the survivors can even walk from one to the other whilst they're doing the objectives and then what can the demon do they will just take one of the points no matter what and the other one you can try to fight for but once they take one point you are exercised anyway right to the other end of the map and then what can you really do it's just unfair so i'm really really glad that they're finally gonna do something about this and they also write here that when the demon is exercised, they will exercise the demon to the next objective phase, that the demon have, has the option to start preparing for the survivors or just go after the survivors. I think this is a really, really welcome change. You can see that the devs are really thinking about this and really trying to improve the gameplay for all of us. So they are going to address the item drop exploit. And I think this is for the mini ashes traps, which survivors, they'll just drop their items quickly before the mini ashes take some away. And also possibly when you possess survivors and they drop their guns. They're not being very specific about this. It could be that as well. It might not. We're gonna have to wait and see. They are doing something about the extended queues. Again, they're not being very specific about what they're doing there, but hopefully there will be an improvement once they patch it. On the anti-cheating and reporting players, they have seen a huge spike on the cheating recently and they are doing everything they can apparently to remove all these players. So it's nice to know that they're actually doing something because we report it and then we don't hear anything about it after. So it's great to hear that they're actually doing something about it. So whoever owns a season pass and has been quite frustrated about not getting anything from it, now they are confirming that you get the Classics Bundle, Army of Darkness Bundle outfits, and they are also working on two upcoming DLC packs featuring new characters, outfits and more. So maybe this will satisfy whoever paid for the DLC in advance because there's literally no roadmap, we just don't know what you paid for. They are also working on progression prestige and they are evaluating how to approach the progression in the game. So these are probably for all those players that are super high level and they have reached max level with all their characters so it's nice to see they're thinking about how to keep high level players engaged and about the next dlc they will have news for us very very soon we just have to stay tuned all of the above guys i think is really really positive and i'm so so happy that this game is coming back to life because it's just been so frustrating across the board and you just keep seeing comments on the discord channel all the time about cheaters and about this being wrong and you're tired of doing that i'm personally very tired of flipping cars all the time and also getting into a match you see the objectives are really really close to each other i just find all this very tiring and it just en ends up getting to you and you don't even want to play the game anymore so i'm quite excited about this let me know in the comments if you think all these changes are positive and what else you think they missed out and what else you think they could do to improve the game even further and as always let's keep it civil down in the comments and if you did enjoy this video please drop me a like and subscribe subscribe support the channel and i will see you all very soon